Hey, stop scrolling. If you're looking for the best hard ready spoofer in the market, you found it. That's cheatbyron.com. In this video, I will explain what's the difference between perm spoofer and temp spoofer and what should you use depending on what you plan to do if you want to continue cheating or not. Let me quickly explain the difference between temp and perm spoofer. As for the temp spoofer, I will leave a link in the description which will fully explain what it is, but let me say it here as well if you don't want to watch full video. So basically, temp spoofer is a software which you will run. It will fully mask your serials, it will look as it's a different PC, but every time you restart your PC or you shut it down, it will go back to your original hardware ID, serials, and it's really the best for people who plan to continue cheating, and then when you get banned every single time, you will get banned on the spoofed serials, and your original PC serials are not banned. And as for perm spoofer, after you fully spoof your PC and restart it or shut it down, serials will stay the same, which means you don't have to worry about rebounds or anything else. So let me show you how to permanently spoof your PC. So first thing that you will have to do after you have downloaded Cheat Baron Perm Spoofer is completely disable Windows Defender and Windows Updates, which I'm going to show you how to do now. If you're not sure that you have all the requirements installed, simply go to the requirements folder and install everything. Now finally we are going to open the spoofer itself. After spoofer open, simply paste in your license key and click login. After we logged in, we can see our device serials. You can see all of them are in red, which means we haven't spoofed yet. We will go to the spoofer tab and we can see that we have regular spoof, Asus spoof and Mac spoof. And on MISC tab, you can see that we have Asus AFE and SMBIOS fixer. Now we will go back to the spoofer tab and click regular spoof. I will choose Gigabyte as that's my motherboard on this PC and simply wait for it to finish spoofing. And when we finished spoofing, it will ask us to restart our PC. So let me do that really quickly. And now I have restarted my PC. I will log into the spoofer now. And as you can see, all the serials are in green, which means we have successfully spoofed our PC. We are going to click compare serials and you can see old ones and new ones. And you can see that all of them are different. What I've showed you is how to generally spoof for all games. If you're looking for to spoof for a specific game, after you purchase your license key, you will get this tutorial as well, which will tell you everything in depth what to do for what game. I will scroll through it so you can see that it has everything. And now let me show you where to get Cheat Baron Spoofer. And you will do that on CheatBaron.com website. After you get on it, click on Baron Perm Spoofer, either purchase one time or lifetime license. And make sure to use discount code Baron1 on checkout, you will get 10% discount, so it will be even cheaper. Thanks for watching this video, see you in the next. Bye bye.